Okay, and we're live. A pleasant afternoon to each and every one of you. Good afternoon to our Zoom participants and good afternoon as well to our YouTube viewers. So our topic for today is on-screen impression management. Of course, we will be having none other than Ms. Abigail Arenas de Leon. Welcome to another e-learning session powered by Arriva Academy. My name is Irish Malanda Samson, your host, and I would like to introduce to you again our moderator for today, Coach Suzette Shapno. Hello, Hi, Coach. everyone. Hi, Miss Irish. Welcome Hello to again. <laughs> viewers and, of course, our Zoom participants. Okay. So, let's start. Please join me in welcoming our international participants. And they are watching from Australia, Vancouver, Canada, Kowloon, Hong Kong, Chennai, India, Mumbai, India, Surabaya, Indonesia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Koror, Palau, Doha, Qatar, Singapore, Sharjah, United Arab, Arab Emirates, and Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. And in order for us to have a smooth flow of our e-learning session, here are following house rules. Okay, who are the first? We have a lot of attendees here in our Zoom, and we would like to know you better so please type in hi if this is your first time in watching our webinar please type in hi and where are you watching right now hi to warren gisela cacho toneza arcang arcangel okay christian shaima joe vincent daisy welcome so this okay medyo marami arthur benedict king Someone is watching from Philippine Heart Center, Micheline Cepeda. Welcome to our e-learning session. Kay is watching from Manila, Kay Suelto. Hello, John Leo Mabakyao. Okay, hi, Charlene Sacrista. I would like to know as well, the uh, our avid viewers, type in hello. This is their second time, third time, fourth time in watching Arriva webinars. Okay, Louis Bernabe, hello again, Pas Tayag, thank you for watching, Joanne from Bulacan, Rex Linko, thank you, Freulan, let's check as well, in our YouTube viewers, Shil Manano, good afternoon, and Jeline Duque, okay, Joy Minerva is watching as well, let's do an audio check, please type in 111 to show if you can hear me loud and clear, Mr. Jose Beroya is watching again. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so far, 111. 111 to show if you can hear me. I am loud and clear and audible. 222 means you cannot hear me or no sound at all. 2121 means the sound is breaking up. And question mark if you don't understand anything. But so far, Coach Suzette, 111. Okay, moving on. Thank you, participants. For question and answer guidelines, participants' microphones will be temporarily disabled by the administrator during discussions to avoid interruptions. Questions will be entertained after each topic of the session. For questions and clarifications during the provided time after each topic, please click the raise hand button uh, for the administrator to enable the microphone for live questions. Yes, we will entertain live questions from our Zoom participants later at the Q&A portion. Okay, type in your questions at the Q&A box. One question at a time will be entertained. For comments and feedback, please scan the QR code. This will be directed to our feedback form. Please send us your comments, suggestions, topics to discuss in order for us to improve our future e-learning sessions. I know you're very excited. And to this cause, on-screen impression management, Coach Suzette Shapno, please introduce our speaker today. Thank you, Madam President, Ms. Irish Malonda Samson. The speaker for our topic, on-screen impression management, is a former representative of the Philippines in the, in the 1997 Miss Universe pageant, a fashion model and TV personality she has since ventured into the world of image consultancy, where she could pass on her legacy of beauty and poise to others. Amongst her many achievements, she is a former board member of the Professional Models Association of the Philippines, PMAP, and a former board member of the Philippine Society for Training and Development, 
PSTD. She is also a certified image professional and the past president of the Association of Image Consultants International Philippine Chapter. The president of BNI Business Network International Genesis Chapter. She now works full time as the managing director and chief trainer of Personify Image Studio, the author of 88 Things Every Professional Should Know or Else, a wife to a celebrity photographer, June De Leon, and a mother to their son's 18 year old, Ija, and four year old, Eli. Let's give a big hand to Miss Abigail Arenas. But before that, for us to be able to get to know her better, let's watch a short a video presentation. Okay, so this, Hi, is, when I, when, this is when I say, play video, please. <laughs> okay, Miss Abby, you Hi. can play your video. Hi, how are Hi. you? Trying. I'm very good. I'm very good. Pretty now, as always. Siyempre, <laughs> siyempre. Now, I am still unable to share screen. Host disabled pa ako. Okay. okay. Let, let us work on that. So, Jeff, bigyan mo akong power. There you go. Let me share a, um, a short video. Mga four hours lang. Okay. Tamang tama. Hanggang mamayang gabi tayo. <laughs> Hang on. Sorry. It's okay. Do it again. There you go. Abby. Thank you, Odiba. Now, Hello. that videos show, well, about me a little bit, and I think uh, uh, Suzette mentioned enough about that. So let me move on to my um, task topic. Okay, so let's show that. Ayan, Odiba, meron akong katabi na ano, meron akong katabi na assistant. Now, it's all about <laughs> on-screen impression management. Now, um, Suzette, aamin ako ha, because before this, all this pandemic, I never did, I, I've never done a webinar before until last April 18. April 18 was, should I say, my, my launch as a webinar speaker. But I have been speaking for the longest time. You know, ibang iba pa rin pag talaga sa webinar. So imagine okay. mo, since April. So I, I'll show the next one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, oh, question time agad. O sige na, question time muna bago ko magkwento. <laughs> o question time muna. May question ako. The question okay. is, Tignan natin. Jeff, subukan natin yung question time. Yan. Are you ready? Okay. Please type in or answer yes, no, or sandali lang po. Do we need to wait for you? Please let me know. There you go. There you go. Okay. okay so Rachel said yes. A, letter A. From Rosalinda, yes. From Zenaya, A. Yeah, a lot of them are saying yes, Miss Abby. Yes, They're so yes, ready. yes. Pero may tatlo na sandali lang po talaga. <laughs> Antay lang kami dito. Yes. Ha? yes. All right. I think we got that. I'm seeing a lot of yeses here, a lot of a's. Yes. Okay. Thank you all so much for get for saying ready na. Okay, dun sa tatlo, habol na lang kayo ha. Okay, so I'm going to have to escape and okay. Kaya ko na to dapat eh. Okay, sige. So tapos na yung question time. So, I'll continue my my story. April 18 was, was my very first webinar. Now, what kept me busy is this. You know what, Suzette? Nung na-realize ko, nung ginagawa ko tong slide na to, I realized, and dami ko na palang naging webinar. So, from Congratulations! April, that was the last, that was the first one until today. Tapos, bukas, na naman. So, I'm very, very happy na 
na nakapag-adjust na rin, nakapag-adapt na sa bagong normal. So, if you are new to webinars, if you are new to on-screen, huwag mag-alala, sabay-sabay lang tayo. Okay? So, that's actually, actually my point. My point here is, lahat kaya pala nating i-transit. Lahat pala tayo kayang-kayang umadap. Because I was so scared. I was so scared to set to death during my first webinar. I had no idea what to expect. I had no, hindi ko alam kung tatanggapin ba ako ng tao. Pero only to realize after a month and a half na hindi ako tumitigil, research and perform and everything. Yeah. So now I am happy that I'm back here sharing all this on-screen knowledge. Okay, you so were that's... amazing, Miss Abby. I watched your first webinar. You were amazing. Hindi oh, alam mo lang, ha? sobrang lamig ng kamay ko noon. Grabe yun. Okay? Pero okay. ngayon, mas kampante na. A month and a half lang na practice, ha? Kampante na. Mas, mas kahit may technical glitches, parang poise pa din. Okay lang yan. Okay? Now, let's move on. Now, what why is it important to learn about or to have a knowledge about on-screen first on on-screen impression management? Okay. Meron ako na kulang tanong dun sa mga pinipe ninyo. Unang tanong, ano yung difference ng off-screen sa on-screen? Well, the difference is off-screen, ito yung dati natin na wherein we present ourselves live face to face. So that's off-screen. Ngayon, usong-uso yung term na on-screen. Now, just like any given situation as a professional, it's very important to take care of the first impression, mapa-off-screen, mapa-on-screen. Now, eto ang totoo. When you are not ready, you do not turn on your video. Tama Kasi, minsan, may mga ginagawa, may mga ganyan, may mga ano 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 you, you tend to do audio. You know what? Sa meeting na on-screen, nakaka-minus yun ha? Because on-screen na nga lang, ginawa pa telephone call. So might as well, because people tend to, should I say, trust people pag nakikita ka ng actual na tao. So I would suggest, fully suggest, strongly suggest that whenever you conduct business on-screen, you have to turn your video. Okay? Now, um, let me see. I'd like to hear another Ano? Ito muna pala. Kalokop ko. Mamaya pa pala. Ito na. Communication model. According to Dr. Albert Miravia, ang communication model natin consists of three Vs. Visual by 55%, verbal by 7%, and vocal by 38%. As you can see, okay, yung vocal, madali natin madetect because we know exactly when we use the right tone and when we use the wrong tone. The verbal, these are the words that we use. So alam na natin na. Pero ito yung kailangan nating maintindihan today. Yung gano ka importante yung visual na nakakita. The truth is, we are, uh, if, well, I'm seeing myself now on a parang two by two by one and a half inches screen. That's it. People would actually depend on what they see on screen. So, mas very high talaga ang visual. So, yun ang gusto nating pag-usapan ngayong hapon. How to make that better. How to be visually more appealing. Na. Anong topics natin? How do we go about it? Well, number one, technicalities are gonna be very, very important. Minsan, ang ganda ng sinasabi mo, pero yung technicalities mo, problemado, problema yan. Okay? Number two, on-screen body language. Maganda nga ang ilaw mo, maganda nga ang makeup mo, pero yung body language mo, nakaka-negative ng message. So we're gonna have to talk about that next. And then, how to look sharp. S-H-A-R-P are the five contributing factors on how to look our best. Marami itong pag-uustapan natin sa set, pero itatry kong i-compress sa loob ng isang oras. Thank okay. you. <laughs> now, how do we address technicalities? Okay, tinan natin to. May question ulit ako. At ang tanong, eto na. So gusto ko nagpa-participate tayo. Tanong, okay. How often do you join an on-screen meeting without a video? I'd like to see, okay. Now, you have to answer me truthfully. Never, rarely, sometimes, and all the time because I'm never ready. So answer me, please, okay. I want to see how many of us would actually never um, turn on the video or sometimes or Laging nakabukas ang video. Tinan natin. Okay, I want to for see, I want our to participants, please yes. answer the question. And if you have any questions, how just type it in the How often do you join an on-screen meeting without a video? Okay. So I think that's it. That's good enough, no? Okay. Nakikita mo ba? Nakikita ba we video? have four who answered sometimes, sometimes. And sometimes. Oh, most of the, all of them answered sometimes. Awesome. Okay. And here, 
Yeah, it's letter C that won. Okay, Sometimes, it's confirmed. So, nagiging choice siya. Pero we have to think about, we have to realize that if we want to be successful in conducting business on screen, we have to turn the video all the time. And hopefully, after this short webinar, mag-on na tayo ng video talaga. Okay, so ito na talaga yon. So, tina natin. Mm -hmm. Let us talk about the first topic, and this is all about addressing technicalities. Okay, so isa na muna. Okay, number one, make sure that your name or photo reflect your professionalism. So, you minsan yung lumalabas na picture or minsan yung lumalabas na pangalan. Minsan kasi when you join in a webinar or a, a meeting, ang lumalabas dyan, yung pangalan ng cellphone. So make sure that you do not commit that mistake. One time na nakita ako, group of puppies. Obviously, mahilig siya sa puppies, but it's not the best representative of you as a professional. So make sure that that will sound very professional and will look very professional. Number two, have a light source facing you. Minsan, makikita mo, ang ganda ng bintana, nasa likod niya ang bintana. That is a big mistake. Pag nasa likod mo ang bintana, ibig sabihin nun, ang light source galing sa likod. So, yung mukha mo, walang ilaw. So, might as well face the actual light source if walang bintana. As simple, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you, wait, wait, wait. This is my simple lamp, okay? Medyo nakaharap yan sa akin, or misan patagilid ng konti, pero that is gonna be my own light source. So please make sure that the light source is actually facing your face para pag nagmi-meeting tayo, kita yung mukha. Number three is very, very crucial. Put your camera at an eye level, okay? Ito, demonstrate ko lang. Let's say, for example, medyo mataas. Ayan, iba ang nakikitang view. So, importante na yung, hindi rin pwedeng masyadong mataas. Importante na yung camera nasa eye level mo. If you need to put on pile of books on the bottom of your laptop, please do that. Pero, pero very important na tama yung angulo ng camera because so set, ang dalas, dalas kong nakikita That's right. yung dalas cellphone ang gamit. At pag cellphone ang ginamit, Usually, ilalagay yan, naka, naka, nakapatong sa table. So, pag nakapatong sa table, hindi masyadong maganda yung view. Okay? So, see to it that your camera is going to be on an eye level. Both shoulders in view with a little bit of headroom. So, bago mo pa man i-on yung iyong um, Zoom meeting, kunwari, okay, i-check mo muna yung sarili mo. May headroom, hindi pa rin napuputol ka, tapos merong shoulder. So, yun ang tamang view. Don't make a mistake also na sobrang layo, ang liit-liit, para ang liit-liit mo naman, o, paano ka lang makikipag-usap sa tao ganito ka liit, di ba? So, see to it that you are framed properly. Handle technical glitches with poise. Now, this will definitely happen. And if it does, you have to maintain poise. Natabig mo yung tubig mo, or nawalan ka ng cell phone, nawalan ka ng signal, or yung ilaw mo nawalan, nawalan ng battery. These things can actually happen, okay? So, be calm about it. Nothing, not, no big deal yan, kumbaga. So, don't lose it. Huwag kang magmumura, huwag kang sisigaw. Hindi kailangan. Kailangan with poise. Find a workspace with a door. That way, you get to control what is happening inside the room. Okay? Now, kung sakali, wala kang specific door, wala kang specific room na may door, you can just find a spot in your house na low traffic, low, low foot traffic. Kasi yung iba, madalas nakikita ko, nilolocate yung kanilang workstation sa bahay dun sa may kusina. And to think, yung kusina ang pinaka, isa sa mga pinaka-busy nowadays kasi kain tayo ng kain. So, kung lang, ilulugar mo yung sarili mo kung saan hindi masyadong maraming tao. Or sa door, minsan kailangan pa maglagay ng do not disturb or minsan nalagyan ko na sa likod, webinar going on para lang walang papasok. Tapos, be 100% present. You know, being in a webinar, um, being in a Zoom meeting, ang dami pwedeng maging distraction. So, ang bilis magbukas ng cellphone, mamaya may FB na pala. Yung presence mo tuloy sa meeting, nararamdaman ng iba. So, see to it that when you attend meetings, when you attend on-screen meetings, you have to be 100% present. And then finally, Make sure that you create a professional working environment. It doesn't have to be super ganda, you know, but you have to have the basics. Now, what basic am I talking about? I'll show you a picture. Yeah, let's see. A basic would be a good light source. So basic yan. Isa yan. 
hindi ganito, hindi ito yung workstation ko, ha? hindi ito akin, hiram ko lang. Pero, makikita mo pa rin, ito pa rin yung mga kailangan. A good Wi-Fi. Akala ko dati, malakas na yung Wi-Fi ko, only to realize na kapag pala nag-webinar, kailangan mas malakas. Kailangan talaga the best Wi-Fi that we can afford. Tapos, good audio sound. So, you better check on the audio sound. Minsan naman, naka-headset na nga ganyan, tapos, na, na, may kakak pa rin yung tunog, so see to it that you have a good one. And then, a, a good computer, kasi if you're gonna be working from home, which we're all doing nowadays, kailang, hindi masyadong maano yung cellphone eh. So yung computer or laptop or at least an iPad man lang. Tapos, cell phones will also be good para for emergency purposes kasi it will keep you connected. Beverages, dapat abot kamay. Okay? So hindi na kailangan tatlong oras na yung Zoom mo, tapos kailangan mong tumayo pa, di ba? So, beverages should be right there. Stationaries, a simple pen and a paper will do. Dapat laging nandyan yan sa workstation mo. Tapos, don't forget about the outlets. Now, if you are gonna look at my floor here, meron ako isang malaking extension wire na lahat na doon nakas- nakalagay na. The chargers, dapat lahat nandyan na. I was gonna get the chargers. Meron mga battery bank, nandyan na lahat yan, malapit na. Kung baga, abot kamay, a good chair. So all of these things are the things that we need to make sure that we will have a good and professional workstation. Yan. Okay, question time. Once again, pinging question ulit, Jeff. And the question is, do you have a professional workspace? I want to see kung meron ka ng dedicated workspace. I mean, we have been quarantined for the last three months. May nagawa ka na ba? Okay. Okay. I can see the answers coming in strong okay. is a yes. Good for you. Okay. Most Pero, of them, yes. Most of them, yes. No, there's one who answered no. Si Rafael. Oh, no. Okay. Merong, ay nako, okay, 30%, tama ba ako ng basa, so set? Yes, yes. 30%, okay. So, winner pa rin ang yes. Congratulations if you have a dedicated workspace because we have to accept that this is going to be somehow our new normal already. So, 30% naman, baka naman ito yung mga babalik na sa trabaho, you know, pero kahit babalik ka sa trabaho, I believe hanggang ngayon may team A, team B. So there are still a lot of times that you will have to work at home. So I will have to strongly suggest to have a dedicated professional workstation. Anywhere is not fine. You have five percent. I know. Answered right? anywhere, yes. Anywhere is fine. You know what? Meron kasing psychological effect. You are not turning on your body na mas parang mas professional. What I'm saying is yung kung saan ka natutulog, kung saan ka kumakain, kung saan ka nag-rest, kung saan nanonood ng TV, kubuksa mo yung laptop, kung saan ka magtatrabaho, it does not switch your mind into a more professional mode. So, if you want to maximize functionality, so, parang, parang ka rin papasok sa trabaho, kahit na ilang steps away lang, magbibihis pa din, you know, yung, yung preparation, yung, yung routine na ginagawa mo, that actually helps us get into that work mode. Okay, so the suggestion is have a dedicated workspace. Okay, so moving on. Okay, I will entertain, to set. we will entertain questions later, diba? Yes, so, that's correct. After your presentation, we'll go on a break and then they have time to type their questions. All right, okay, so next. Next, okay, on screen body language. Now, and dami nito, pero we will only talk about five and five, meaning five positive and then. Five nga ba? Tinan natin po five. And then five negative. Okay, now, look at this lady. I really like this picture because looking at her, ang simple sa likod, walang mga magugulo sa likod, pati yung buhok away from the face, pati yung damit niya, simple, hindi, hindi maraming po ano-ano. So, ang ganda niyang tignan sa screen talaga. Pero, kung dadagdagan pa ng body language, yung ngiti, alam naman natin na one will sound very different kapag ka, nagkasalita ng ganito na walang ngiti. Di ba? Umiiba talaga. Pero pag ngumiti, that is a very positive body language. Off screen or on screen, very, very important as we present our piece or may present ka, may pitch ka, you know. If you have the highlight on you, I suggest that you will have to learn how to smile properly. So, smile lang talaga. Next to that, good posture. Ito, every time now when we talk about self-presentation, hindi, hindi mawawala yung good posture. So, you really have to, kasi umiiba na kagad pagka humukot yung likod mo eh. So, good posture is really an expectation. Eye contact on the cam. Okay, now, 
ito, mahirap gawin. Pero, kailangan talaga nakatingin ka dun sa ilaw. Okay? Dun sa green light na yan. Or, kung nahihirapan man, tulad ngayon, I try to position to set near the camera para yung mata ko hindi masyadong malayo. So, imagine if pinosition ko si Suset na kausap ko sa baba, yung mata ko nasa baba. So, you're gonna have to position yung, yung eye level mo as near to the camera as possible. And then, nod when needed. Nod when needed. Now, ito na. Minsan, or should I say madalas, naka-mute tayo. Pero pag nakikipag-meeting, mas magandang naka-audio, naka-video on. Audio off, video on. That's the way to go. Tapos we listen to that. Pero, ibig sabihin nun, hindi porque naka-audio off, hindi tayo nakakita. When there is a point wherein you actually agree, nod when needed. Okay? So, minsan lumingit eh, minsan lumaganyan, di ba? Yun yung mga, yung mga, ito na, yung mga negative body language, kasunod yan. Look at this. The top five most negative body language. Ito yung mga hindi gagawin. Okay? Sliding on the seat. Minsan, matagal ang meeting, ayun, sumandal na. So, look what happened. Lumiit ako, lumayo, at saka yung itsura na parang hindi interesado. So, we do not want to slide on the seat. Now, fidgeting. Now, kung mapapansin mo sa set, kapareho din ng off-screen. Kahit sa off-screen, nasa boardroom ka, nasa meeting ka, you do not slide back like that. We do okay. not fidget. Meaning, yung mm -hmm. nagkukukot na kung ano-ano, kung ano-ano. Minsan, yung ginagalaw yung ballpen, ginaganyan, ganyan. That's fidgeting. And fidgeting is not gonna add to our professional image. Swiveling your chair. Very, very common mistake. Look at this. Naka-audio off ka. Tapos naka-video on ka, gumaganto-ganto ka. So it looked really, really playful. So as much as possible, do not commit the mistake of swiveling your chair. Constantly touching your face. Yun maya't maya, kung ano nung maya-maya, ayos ng ayos. Minsan, may salamin kasi, nakukonsyos, ayos ng ayos. So do not touch your face even on an on-screen meeting. And then resting on your resting your face on hands. In Tagalog, sa lukbaba, sobrang dalas ko nakikita ito. I mean, if it is a casual meeting, let's say, personal meeting among friends, you know, you can, you can talk like that, you know, parang nagchichismisan ka lang kayo. But then again, once it is on a professional meeting, professional side, professional meeting, do not rest your face on your hands, please. Okay, so, lima lang because mauubos ang oras natin talaga. Mm -hmm. Pero when you think about it, ang dami-dami talaga nito. Okay, question time once again. Tinan natin. May tanong ulit ako. Ang tanong, ito na. Tungkol na to sa next topic. How long does it take you to get ready for an on-screen meeting? Gano katagal para maging ready ka for an on-screen meeting? Okay, tinan natin. Yung totoo ha? Okay, hindi ka man nakikita sino sumasagot. But I'd like to hear, I'd like to see honest and truthful answers. Okay. While well, the rest are, are answering the poll, we have 15 minutes from Maria Francisca Monsod. 15 minutes, Miss Aida Santa Maria. Ayan. Okay. So, Ayan, maandar pa. Wait for the results. All right. Konti pa, konti pa. All right. So. Okay. Winner is 15 answer. minutes. 15 minutes. Yes. Okay. That's actually a good answer. Ang totoo, dalawa ang sagot dyan. Either 10 or 15 minutes. Now, because... Pag zero, I know na ni walang grooming. Malamang ito yung tao, nagbukas lang ng laptop, nagtrabaho na. Whoops! Paano kung sabihin sa'yo ng boss mo, can I see you now? Can you turn on your, your video? Nagot na. Yung two minutes, alam ko ang pwedeng mangyari sa dalawang minuto. Hilamos, or should I say, toothbrush lang yan. So yung two minutes, toothbrush lang, Siguro nakapag ganun ng book ng konti, pero kulang na preparasyon. Yung five minutes, although yung iba, sasabihin, lalo kayo ko, pwede toothbrush, t-shirt, suklay, pwede na yan. Sige na nga. Pero the most ideal will be 10 to 15 minutes. Because in 10 to 15 minutes, I know for a fact na naligo ka, I know na nagsuklay ka, I know na nag um, toothbrush ka, alam ko din na nagpalit ng damit, syempre nagbihes, at saka nagkilay man lang or lipstick man lang. So I know for a fact that you had enough time to look professional. Now, pag two hours, tagal naman nun, pero 
okay lang kasi nasa bahay tayo and you'd like to enjoy preparing, that's fine. Because somehow when you think about it, yung two hours na preparation, hindi ka pa rin malalate because yun lang yung commute time natin dati. Di ba? So, okay lang din. Pwede pa din naman. So, nine of you said two hours, siguro ang ganda-ganda mo sa on-screen meeting. Pero, totoo ha, so kailangan talagang talaga nagpe-prepara tayo for an on-screen meeting. Okay. The next topic is going to be all about how to look good. Alam ko, marami sa inyo, ito ang pinunta sa meeting na to. So I'm just gonna go like that and then I'm gonna start sharing this one already. Okay. Now, question is, how, one, how, ano, how can one look good? Why? Why muna pala? Why do we want to look good? Because, Ultimately, we want to feel good. Agree, sa set? Look Correct. Good. 100%. Feel good. Totoo naman eh, di ba? Now, let's pause there for a minute because there are a lot of things that we can do to make us, to help us feel good. Let's mm -hmm. say, for example, may nagluto ng breakfast mo na masarap, favorite breakfast mo, that is gonna help definitely make you feel good. Or, dumating ng maaga yung in-order mo kahapon, tapos maagang dumating, ang sarap na pakiramdam, parang wow, ang galing nito. It will make you feel good. Or, may pagbukas mo ng cellphone mo, yung first message, good news agad. That is gonna definitely make you feel good. But, we have to realize that the things that I mentioned just now are all known to be external factors. Meaning, we need to wait for them to actually happen. So, we have to think of a way that can actually help us feel good na kahit sa atin lang, kahit hindi ka pa lumalabas ng bahay o ng kwarto. And the easiest way to feel good about yourself is to see yourself in the mirror looking good. Yun pala ang pinakamadali, pinakakayang-kayang gawin at on a regular basis. So once you see yourself in the mirror looking good, automatically it will help us feel good. But it doesn't end there. Mm -hmm. Do you know that once you look good, you feel good? You tend to carry yourself better. Alangan naman, I look good, I feel good. Parang hindi eh. I look good, I feel good. Then, yung pagdadala with confidence, yun yun. Yung look of smartness, eto na yun. Okay? So, yung professional looking or professional image, eto na yun. But you have to have a good foundation. Hindi pag gising mo, nagbasa ka ng isang libro, tapos projection daw, projection daw. Hindi eh. Mababaw. So you have to make sure na may lalim. Look good, feel good, and then carry yourself better. Pero may bonus point pa. Do you know that when you go through the three process, meron pang tinatawag na positive response? Sometimes people will tell me, but Abby, you can never control other people's um, um, reaction to you. That's not true. We get to control on how people would react to us on an everyday level. Meaning, Alam na alam mo kung paano ka itatrato, paano mag-react sa'yo ang tao. Now, if you want positive responses, my suggestion is go through this process. Sabihin sabi na natin, look bad. Definitely, it's not gonna help you feel good. Definitely, it's not gonna help you project well. Definitely, you will only get negative responses. So you get to control that. If you want to change that, then might as well decide. Look good, then feel good, then care yourself well, then get positive responses. Ultimately, in business, that's exactly how we want all our customers to react to us. You kalangan positive parate yung response. And then that will result to good sales, that will result to good customer service. So, ito yung gusto natin. Akala kasi natin minsan, ay yung looking good, mababaw. <clears throat> but when you look at it this way, it's nowhere near mababaw. It's really deep to the point that it will result to a good business. Now, ang question na lang, how can one look good? Akala ng iba, kailangan apat ang gawin. Hindi. Isa lang ang gagawin dito. At pag ginawa natin ito, it will help us, kumaga, automatically, the three will follow. Let's focus on how to look good. Ito yung gusto kong ikwento sa inyo ngayon. How to look sharp. S-H-A-R-P are the five contributing factors on how to look our best. I'm just going to check on the time. So, okay pa tayo sa time, Mr. Seth? We're still okay. We're still good. Okay. All right, good. So, S-H-A-R-P. So, iisa-isahin natin to. What is S? Ito na. I think S is for the statements in clothing. Every outfit that we wear becomes a clear statement of what we want people to see. Meaning, if you want to project a sexy statement today, then even in a Zoom meeting, mag-plunging ka, mag-spaghetti strap ka, you know? Show skin. Tapos, red red lips, tapos kapalan mo ang eyeliner. That's already sexy. So, 
you can control that. Gusto mo ng um, sporty image? Humarap ka sa Zoom meeting mo na nakakap, na naka t-shirt. That's automatically a sporty image. So, if you want to appear professional, mag-jacket ka, mag-cardigan ka, or mag-long sleeves ka, automatically, you create a statement. H. H is all about the detailing. H is for high-end details. We're going to have to talk about this step by step. So, let's say, yung haba ng hikaw, yung color ng buhok, or yung, or yung detalye ng yung mga, lumilip, mga makinang, makinang na color, may ibig sabihin yan. So, naumaakma ba dun sa professionalism na gusto natin? We're going to have to talk about that in a bit. A is for appropriate hairstyle. Now, on Zoom, or in any 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 on-screen meeting, there's one rule: hair away from the face. Kapag kaya mga book natin na nakakalat na ganyan, I'm not saying bangs ha. Bangs are okay as long as they do not fall on the face. So that's fine because if you want to establish trustworthiness, you have to show off all of the features of the face. So kita yung mata, ilong, bibig. So appropriate hairstyle. I'm gonna show you pictures in a bit. R, of course, is for the required personal hygiene. Akala ng iba, hindi nakakita ang hygiene. I will show you a picture in a bit that hygiene can be seen. So you really have requirement ito. You really have to do that. P is for perfect finish. For end, we talk about the power of makeup. Okay, not so much, pero a little bit will go a long way, especially on screen. Pero I have some techniques on how to do that. So let's start in the first letter, S. Okay, S is for statements and code. I'm just going to show you pictures. Now, from this standpoint, okay, kahit hatiin mo siya, kahit, kahit yun sa taas lang na ganyan, from this to this to this, umiiba na kagad. So, I'm not saying that you need a necktie all the time, but my point is you get to control on how you would create a statement on screen. So, hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon acceptable ang t-shirt. Hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon acceptable ang necktie. Depende kung anong klaseng profession, depende kung anong klaseng meeting ito. Now, let me give you the lady version of this. From this, to this, to this. Makikita mo, it's the same person. Pero because of the outfit, umiiba kagad talaga. So, this is when I say, yung outfit natin, it becomes parang a role that we got to play. Okay? So, we we control that. So, if you want people to believe you because you are selling a 10 million condo unit, I'm gonna have to say, then put on a suit. You have to look like a 10 million peso worth, you know? So, hindi naman po pwede na, kunwari, ang, ang business mo medyo um, in the industrial, let's say, kunwari, okay, we sell squid boss. So, yung suit, hindi siya magre-require. So, kailangan titimplahin mo. Now, tinan natin, papano natin titimplahin. I'd like to show you this. There are six specifications of casual attire. These are all casual attire. Tinan natin. First off, we have what we call the active casual. So, active casual, obviously, ang ilalabas niyan parang sporty, parang, parang on the go, di ba? So, if it's gonna be a meeting with a man come, this is not gonna be the best idea. Tapos, rugged casual, ito na yung may mga caps, may mga minsan, may mga sa, sa off-screen, may backpack pa yan. Okay, rugged casual, parang mag-outdoor, parang mag-mountain hiking, parang mag-mountain climbing, parang magka-camping lang, di ba? Sporty casual, I like to call this um, pang jan jan lang. Okay, so among friends, um, Zoom party with friends, that these are, things are all acceptable. So we normally wear active, rugged, and sporty during our personal life. But the beginning of our professional life, ito yung requirement. Professionally speaking, at least smart casual. Now, ang smart casual, may, may dalawang level pa yan. I'll show you pictures in a bit. There's smart casual and then there's business casual. And then, there is dressy casual. Dressy casual are expected after 5 o'clock dressing. Okay? After 5 o'clock dressing. Pero yung smart and business casual, ito yung ina-expect sa mga professionals. And I'd like to show more pictures of that. But before we do that, question time. Okay, from what you have seen dun sa six specifications, I'd like to ask the question. What is your expected outfit when you are working from home? Or habang makikipag on-screen meeting tayo? What are the expected outfit? Okay, ayan na, umiiba-iba na ang sagot. Okay, please answer. Choose yes, A, B, C, D, or E. Ayan, bumibilis na ang numero. Okay, you can choose from house clothes, sporty, casual, smart casual, rugged casual, or business casual. Okay, do we have enough? Ayan, umahandar pa. Okay, okay. just so we, while we're waiting, Sel Amores says smart casual. 
Miss Castillo Smart Casual Top because we all know what we're wearing <laughs> underneath. <laughs> Business Casual Smart Casual Top Only. Smart Casual Top Only. Top Only. O sige na nga. O, smart sige Casual. Na. Yeah. Okay, eto na. Meron na nanalo. Okay. Ang panalo is, okay, majority of us would wear Smart Casual. That's pretty good. Okay, na. I have a little problem with the house clothes kasi tayo mga Pinoy, pag sinabing house clothes, pambahay na pambahay talaga. As in, luma, komportable, maluwag, you know, may sira. Ito yung mga gusto-gusto natin. So, I would have to say, if you prefer house clothes or it's okay for your company, you to be wearing house clothes, see to it na hindi sira. See to it na medyo presentable naman ng konti. Okay? Now, sporty, casual. I would imagine na nasa sports industry tayo. Siguro, that's why it becomes acceptable. Pero 25 people said business casual. Malamang highly corporate ito. So good. At least rugged casual. Okay. So smart casual pa ang winner. Second to it is business casual. That's why I want to show more pictures on this um, on this category. Okay. So I have that. I'm going to remove this. Okay. Tinan natin. Next. Ito na, smart casual. Okay, ito yung winner natin, di ba? So sa smart casual, we have two scales. May upscale, may downscale. All of this are considered to be smart casual. Pero on an upscale level. Meaning ito, siguro may ka-business ka, meron ka mag-present ka sa isang sa, sa kliyente mo. These are expected. These are okay. And then meron din tayong tinatawag na smart casual downscale. Downscale, ito na. So, Pwedeng t-shirt material pero long sleeves. That's a downscale, okay? Or a third piece. Minsan, simpleng top at saka cardigan, that becomes a downscale. So, titimplahin mo talaga kung sino ang kausap mo. So, titignan mo din. Kasi importante din na may rapport ka. Hindi rin pwedeng sobrang layo naman. Na kung yung kliyente mo na alam na alam mo na nakapambahay, then I would say smart casual downscale. But if you're gonna meet with a person na ang alam mo na every time magkikipag-meeting ito, na necktie, I'm gonna have to say smart casual upscale. Makikita mo yung difference. And then this is a smart casual upscale for men and this is smart casual downscale for men. Now, akala kasi ng iba, i-color mo lang, okay na. But depende din sa kulay, depende sa fabric. Now, makikita mo sa smart casual downscale for men, a third piece is also, um, it adds element to our complete outfit. So, minsan, naka-t-shirt ka lang sa loob, pero pag naglagay ka ng cardigan, naglagay ka ng pampatok, that's what we call the third piece, um, kumbaga uma-adjust, mas nagiging acceptable na professional yung outfit. But tapos, of course, you cannot go wrong with a collar na kahit na half or half, on yan, short sleeves or long sleeves, pwedeng pwede din. Pero yung cotton material. And then we have this one. Business casual upscale. Ito na. Let us say, for example, ito, so, so set na invite ako na sa BNI meeting. BNI meeting, puro, puro highly corporate people, so we are expected to be in this outfit. So, terno talaga yan. Ah, hindi pala. Minsan hindi ko na sinusot yung pambaba. Pero medyo, medyo nakabutton at saka yung, yung material talagang pang suit material. That's upscale. So may mga time na marirequire tayo niyan. Pero business casual downscale is also considered to be business attire on a downscale level. So minsan kahit mismatching na, magkaiba yung, magkaiba yung taas at saka baba o magkaiba yung loob at saka yung labas. So pumupwede pa din. So these are all business casual downscale. Now let me show you the men. Business casual upscale, okay? So, ito, siguro kung ikaw ang mag-lead, kung ikaw ang mag-facilitate, ito yung ina-expect sa atin. Or kung nara, ikaw yung big boss, siguro ito yun. Diba? Okay, man, man kung meeting atin ka, ito yun, okay? Pero may downscale pa rin na business casual downscale. Ito yun. So, ang difference is, pag mahumaba yung barong, it becomes more upscale. Pag umiksi yung barong, it becomes downscale. But pareho silang business attire. Now, yung necktie and long sleeves, that's downscale. Pag nilagyan mo ng suit, it becomes upscale. So, ganun mo siya titimplahin. So, let's stick to business attire and business casual and smart casual. Pero dapat alam natin kailan i-up, kailan i-down. Okay. Nasa letter H na ako. So, set. H is yes. all about the high in high details. Detail. Okay. So, we are still spelling the word S-H-A-R-P. Okay. The sharp. Hair, as mentioned, neat and away from the face. Tapos, 
on screen, lahat ng susuotin mong pantali, lahat ng susuotin mong headband, halatang halata ha. So you have to make sure na it's either kakulay ng buhok or halos hindi nakakita yung any other hair accessories. Hair pins, ponytail pwede, or headband, basta kakulay ng buhok. Minsan kasi mag-headband, tapos kulay green, di ba? Parang, teka lang, sa buong, sa buong screen, kitang-kita na yun kagad. So see to it that hair will be neat and away from the face for both men and women. Ngayon na naka-GCQ tayo, mga bukas na barbero na. Dati kasi, last month, lahat ng mga lalaki, hala, naghahabaan ng buhok, tapos hini-headband. Kalalaking lalaki, tapos naka-headband, mag-wax ka naman dyan. Face, Clean and oil free with appropriate day makeup. In a bit, I'm gonna show you yung makeup, um, pagsuot ng makeup na kahit konti lang, I'm gonna give you some tips on that. Okay? Pero dapat, oil free. So, tissue man lang or oil blotter man lang for both men and women. Do not turn yourself on an on-screen meeting na oily or pawis yung mukha. Jewelry, as minimal as possible. Now, jewelry should not make any noise. Now, minsan, nakakwintas, tapos nandun yung head, headphones mong ganun, dikit ng dikit sa headphones, then that cause, will cause distraction. So, see to it that you any this any jewelry na isusot mo, walang tunog na mangyayari. Well, uh, you aren't, kanina, pinaplancha ko yung damit ko, ang sabi ko sa yaya namin, sa harap lang, wag na sa likod. That works, kasi <laughs> on screen naman, di ba? So, kumu pwede na rin. Pero pinaplancha pa rin talaga ang damit. And then, bottoms. Now, totoo, ang dami na kasabi sa akin, kahit wala ng bottoms, kahit maliit na lang na shorts, or ano, pero I will have to suggest still na magpantalon or magskirt because, just because, let's say, for example, may meeting tayo sa set, tapos I need yeah. to grab documents from up there, tapos makikita mo yung ilalim ko, tapos makikita mo, off na off, di ba? Or minsan nakapadyama. Yeah. Better so, be safe. <laughs> better be safe, di ba? It's just, you know, siguro yung paa hindi na makikita, pero I also got um, a reaction na bakit hindi ko mo magsapatos para feeling bombo talaga. That is a good suggestion. Kaya lang sa akin kasi, I live in a condominium, so pag nagsapatos ako sa loob ng bahay, baka madumihan pa yung sahig, eh may baby kami, di ba? So, okay na na nakachinelas, basta pag tumayo ka, somehow safe na makikita yung pantalon mo o yung pag-ibaba. Okay? Kasi meron na nangyari niya, hindi ba sa set din sa ano, um, okay. news anchor pa siya, hindi niya alam na nakakita pala yun hanggang sa lap niya, tapos siya parang confident na confident pa pala. We don't want those kind of things to happen, di ba? Tapos, eto na, may additional ano lang ako. So, color, overly bright or extremely dark colors do not translate well on camera. So, as much as possible, hindi sana magsusolid, so you break the color a little bit, or... Um, patterns, avoid busy patterns such as animal prints, of course. Tapos, dress conservatively, properly fitted, avoid tank tops, low-cut tops, crop tops, anything sheer or meth. Imagine mo kung naka-sheer ka, tapos pag on mo ng ilaw mo, ang liwanag pala, di ba? So, iingat din tayo sa mga ganon. And then again, make sure that your jewelry are not too over-sparkly. Also, best to avoid um, not moving jewelry. Yung mga hikaw na gumagalaw na yan, hindi rin sila advisable. Okay? Explain ka na, explain, tas galaw ng galaw, di ba? So, yung on-screen tsaka off-screen, as you realize, hindi nagkakalayo. Kasi pagka sa off-screen at meron table na habang nasa meeting, ito din naman yung nakakita, di ba? So, nag-translate lag lang talaga sa on-screen. Nasa R na tayo. Ay, nasa A pala tayo. Ako, A pa lang. Okay ka pa, so set? Oh, yeah. A, yeah, of course, is for the them. appropriate hairstyles. Now, hair must be away from the face, clean and dandruff-free. Okay, hindi mo kang bed head kung gising. Natural looking color. Ayan. Natural look. Am I okay? Natural looking color as much as possible. Okay. Now, all of these pictures are, kumbaga, we look professional even on screen. So, kahit nasa on screen, yung mga, yung mga bedhead, yung mga oily, oily hair, nahahalata din yan. So, see to it that it will speak professionally about us. Naku, Suset, dyan, sabi ng iba, eh, paano mm -hmm. ito? Pang, ano pang artista? Ang tanong, <laughs> artista ka ba? Diba? <laughs> so, kailangan appropriate sa position, appropriate sa industry. Now, mm -hmm. Hindi kita pitigilan if you're gonna be like in in the in the entertainment industry it's totally fine you know you can you can sport this medyo wild or medyo medyo updated na hairstyle but when you are talking about corporate image I'm gonna have to say be as conservative as possible and then ato 
R is of course for the required personal hygiene. Akala ng iba, hindi nakikita ang hygiene. Now, we still have to make sure that we have clean and well-groomed hair, healthy looking nails, you know, as we speak, diba? We speak with our hands as well. So, kik nakikita pa rin yan. And then, well-groomed facial hair. So, yung mga lalaki, nagsishave pa rin daw kahit on screen. I'll show you, wait lang. Clean mouth is a requirement. Iba yung pakiramdam pagka alam mo madumi yung bibig mo. Umiiba yun. And then, consider daily hygiene to include the bath, the shave, and the use of the deodorant. So, iba pa din ang pagdadala sa sarili on screen pag alam mong nakaprepara ka mula ligo, toothbrush, you know, hair and makeup, kasama yon. I'll show you this. Look at this. Sabi ko sa inyo eh, di ba? So, pati yung shaving, nakakita yan on screen. Pati yung buhok na nakajel o yung buhok na magulo, nakakita yan on screen. Okay, yun iba? Alam mo, para hindi makita na magulo, ikakap. E kung hindi naman yan acceptable sa industry mo, it might send the wrong message. Ito na. P is for perfect finish. Last letter na ako. Now, eto, pinakita ko na ito noong, noong April 18. Pero sa mga hindi pa nakakita, I'm gonna show you this because this is very, very important on Zoom. Makeup. Makeup is essential. Look at this. This is me. This is me before with no makeup at all. This is how I look like when I, when I cook in the kitchen. This is how I look like when I take care of my kids. So this is me. But this is me after a little bit of makeup. This is about a three-minute makeup. After makeup, one can actually look more professional already. So anong makeup yan? Face powder, eye makeup, cheek color, lip color. Three to five minutes, yan ang kayang magawa. So ang ganda. Pwede na. Maganda. Maganda before and after, but ganon. Ano ba? Okay. Ito pa. May magic yan, Joseph. If you, well, we are all in Zoom. Hindi ko alam kung nagawa na ninyo. Sa Zoom, if you look at the video, dun sa may video, di ba? May arrow yan. Pag kinlik mo yan, meron dyan video settings. Sa video settings, meron dyan uh, touch up my appearance. Look at, tinan mo nagagawa ng touch up my appearance. Yun. Diba? So, itong nakikita nyo ngayon, nakatouch up my appearance kaya ako. So, gagawin natin lahat ng feature, lahat ng pwedeng gawin to look really good on Zoom. So, it is just, ano, gusto mong gawin na, no? Sige, gawin mo sa Tama, sketch. ang galing mo. <laughs> Apply <Yeah>. what I'm learning. <laughs> Diba? Diba? Pero, totoo, imagine if you have the right lines, tapos you right, have the right angle, and then you do the touch up my appearance, so hindi mo kailangan mag-effort ng madami, but it will actually, it's a very, very good feature. That's why I love doing Zoom, just because of this particular feature. Kasi parang feeling ko, ang ganda-ganda ko. Pero totoo, I mean, you know, we will maximize everything that we can to look good on screen. Okay? I think that is me already. Okay? Now, pero, um, so let me share lang ako, ha? Permission to share. Go. Now, this is one of my last lines. Looking good is not all about self-importance. Looking good is all about self-respect. Okay? So, it's not vanity. Looking good is not vanity from the cycle that we have just discussed. It will give you positive results in business. Okay? Now, um, final question time. I have my last question. And the question, Jeff, is how much did you learn today? I'd like to know if you learned something today. Is it nothing? Malulungkot ako pag nothing. Is it so-so? Mm -hmm. Or is it a lot? Or is it so much? Diba? Tinan natin, ay, okay, may isa na nag-so-so, kailangan tayong mag-one on one, one to one. <laughs> Okay, a lot. Thank a you lot. so yes. much. Yes, from Maria Francisca, okay. so much so from Miss Rosalinda. So we have 300 participants. Okay, so much. And then the answer is, tignan natin. Okay, I can see 68% votes coming in. Okay, so, okay, yun na ba yun? Yun na ba yung sagot? Okay. Learned a lot from Miss uh, Meldrick. Learned a lot. Meldrick. Next, kadikit na kadikit ng so much. Now that, yes. You know, that will gonna keep me um, going because the, the thing is, we really have to learn from each other. So if you learn a lot and you learn so much, thank you so much. Okay, now, I still have, ayan, let's see, this one. Tomorrow, mangiimbita ako. Tomorrow, sorry. Tomorrow, I have um, 
a webinar, Reinventing Yourself to the New Normal. Now, I'm going to be joined by Joy Spring and Dolores Florentino. Dolores is very, it's a very interesting person. She does virtual assistant. You know, when I talk to her, and dami ko kaagad natutunan na ang dami palang mga app na po pwedeng gawin ngayon in this new normal of ours. So, may mga app na, ang, ang gaganda ng mga tip. I spoke to her for like 20 minutes. Nag-research na ako kagad ng mga tip niya. And then, of course, si Joy Spring Trevino talks about productivity. Naman. So please join us tomorrow. So uh, I don't know, share this link. I don't know how to share this, but if you go to my website, okay, so in a bit, papakita ko. So this all the all the courses offered at Personify. So we do professional image development. So we have been conducting this to certain companies, and I'd like to go to your office and do this for you. We also do executive presence, we do the power of image. So Seth, looking at these pictures pala, nakikita ko yung mga dati nating face-to-face. Ang saya, oh, di ba? Miss, di ba? Yeah. Yes. I mean, we do this almost every day. Tapos ngayon, biglang tiyaga-tiyaga sa, sa webinar. Nag-i-enjoy <laughs> pa rin talaga ako. So we do also do business etiquette and social protocol, increase your charisma quotient, and how to look sharp. Ayan. Yan ang ating mga... Cliente, okay. So I've been doing this for a while, and uh, for for two decades, almost two decades, and I still get to enjoy every single moment of it. Now I also have the book. My book it's called Eighty Eight Things Every Professional Should um, Know or Else. Okay. Now um, GCQ. Now if you want to purchase, you can do that also. So if you go to my um, Instagram at Abigail Arenas, please. Um, Go there para makita on how to purchase the book. And then go to my Facebook. It's Personify Space Image Studio. Or please subscribe to my YouTube. Ito nagawa ng pandemic. Nakapag-launch tuloy ako ng YouTube. So if you want to learn more, I have series of lectures sa Abigail Arenas Official. So please subscribe. And I'm also, um, I think na-launch na yung aking um, course on Edu Rescue. Um, I think this week it's, it's going to be... So watch out for this one because soon I will be on Edu Rescue. So yan ang aking mga activities nowadays. So right. yun na. Thank you, thank you, Susette. I thank, thank you, thank you for sharing uh, your information with us as well as the topics that you're covering, the services that you offer. I would just like to share with you lots of positive feedback here from our participants. The so so meant so so much, Dao Miss Abby. Ah, so, so, so much naman yeah. pala. So, so much. And Not so, so. Naman pala. And then, um, Nelson here says it's a confidence booster. Thank you so much. Very helpful. I love the animation of Miss Abigail. Yeah, thanks so much, Miss Abby and Ariva. So, I'm sure that all our participants are very thankful that you've shared this with them. And they're going to up their game next time they uh, go on screen magiging excellent on-screen impression na yung goal nila after uh, viewing your webinar. So at yeah. this point, we are going to go on a break. So you can take a two-minute break, Miss Abby, while also you prepare for the questions for wow. our viewers watching in YouTube and also for those watching in Zoom. Please type in the Q&A chat box your questions. And also for the YouTube viewers, we have a comment box there. Please don't hesitate to write questions. And we also have our present questions that I'll be reading in a bit. So I'll see you again, Miss Abby. Thank you. A lot of key takeaways here, which I will be sharing with you in a bit. So we'll pause for a two-minute break and question and answer when we come back. All right. See you in a bit. Prepare your questions.